In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Come, let us adore the, the King, King of Kings. kings. Today, Today his virgin mother, mother was taken up, up heaven. into heaven. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With song, let us hail the Lord. Come, come let, let us adore the, the King of Kings. kings. Today, Today his, his virgin, virgin mother, mother was taken, was taken up, up into heaven. heaven. Almighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his Son are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come, let us adore the King of Kings. Today his virgin mother was taken up to heaven. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hen. Come, Come let, let us adore the King of Kings. Kings. Today, today his virgin mother was taken up, up to into heaven. heaven. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massah in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Come, Come let, let us adore, adore the King, King of Kings. Kings. Today, today his virgin, virgin mother was, was taken up, up to into heaven. heaven. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Come, Come let, let us adore the, the King, King of Kings. kings. Today, Today his virgin mother, mother was taken, was taken up, up into heaven. heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, Come let, let us adore the, the King of Kings. kings. Today, Today his virgin mother, mother was taken up, up heaven. into heaven. The ark which God has sanctified, which, which he has filled with grace, within the, the temple of the Lord, Lord has found a resting place. More glorious, o glorious than the seraphim, this ark, ark of love divine, corruption, corruption could not blemish her, her whom, whom death, death could not confine. God there in mother, virgin chaste, who shines in her heaven sight, he wears the royal crown of stars. Who is the door of light? To Father, the Son, and Spirit blessed, may we, we give endless praise with Mary, who is Queen, Queen of Heaven, through everlasting days. <coughs> Blessed are you, O Mary, for, for through you salvation, salvation came into well. the world. Now, now you are in glory, glory and joy rejoice before, before the Lord. Lord. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I bless you all my life. In your name I'll lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, and you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed are you, O Lord. Mary. For through you salvation came into the world. Now you are in glory and rejoice before the Lord. The Virgin Mary is exalted high above the choirs of angels. Let all the faithful rejoice and bless the Lord. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord. 
and you all armies of the Lord who bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, sun and moon, O bless the Lord, and you, the stars of the heavens, O bless the Lord, and you, showers and rain, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, all you breezes and winds, O bless the Lord, and you, fire and heat, O bless the Lord, and you, cold and heat, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, showers and dew, O bless the Lord, and you, frosts and cold, O bless the Lord, and you, frost and snow, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, night time and day, O bless the Lord, and you, darkness and light, O bless the Lord, and you, lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. O let the earth bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, mountains and hills, O bless the Lord, and you, all plants of the earth, O bless the Lord, and you fountains and springs, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O bless the Lord, and you creatures of the sea, O bless the Lord, and you every bird in the sky, O bless the Lord, and you wild beasts and tame, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O bless the Lord, and you priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord, and you servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord, and you holy and humble of heart, O bless the Lord, and Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us pray the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, to you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. The Virgin, Virgin Mary is exalted high above, above the choirs of angels. angels. Let all Let the faithful, faithful rejoice, rejoice and bless, and bless the, Lord. the Lord. Your name has been so exalted by, by the Lord. Lord that, that your praises, praises will never cease on the, on the lips, lips of men. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the fall of salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in your glory Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all is faithful. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your name, your name has, has been, been so exalted, exalted by the Lord that, that your praises, praises will never cease on, on the lips, lips of, of men. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. I exalt for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the clothes of integrity, like a bride adorned in her jewels. Today the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven. Today the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven. Forever she will share in the victory of Christ. Today the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven. See the beauty of the daughter, daughter of, of Jerusalem, Jerusalem who, who ascended, ascended to heaven like a rising sun at dawn. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant. 
as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, till his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us, that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. See the beauty of the daughter of Jerusalem, who ascended to heaven like the rising sun of dawn. Let us proclaim the greatness of our Saviour, who chose to be born of the Virgin Mary, confident that we will hear us, Lord, we ask. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Eternal word, in the living flesh of Mary, you found a dwelling place on earth. Remain with us forever in hearts free from sin. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Christ, our Redeemer, you made the Virgin Mary the sanctuary of your presence and the temple of your spirit. Make us bearers of your spirit in mind, heart, and body. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Eternal word, you taught your mother Mary to choose the part that was best. Let us follow her example and hunger for the food of everlasting life. Lord, may your mother pray for us. King of kings, you assume Mary into heaven to be with you completely in body and soul. May we seek the things that are above and keep our lives fixed on you. Lord, may your mother pray for us. King of heaven and earth, you place Mary at your side to reign as queen forever. Grant us the joy of sharing in your glory. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. Thy, will, thy be will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day, day our bread. daily bread. And forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, you have taken the mother of your Son, the Immaculate Virgin Mary, body and soul into the glory where you dwell. Keep our hearts set on heaven, so that with her, we may share in your glory. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for priests. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We gave thanks to those priests who brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called, called the apostles to follow him, we ask, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the, the Holy Spirit to open, to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them, them, them not to be afraid. afraid. Better recognize, recognize the joy you're giving, giving their whole lives, lives and love. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, Lord, our Lord, who lives, who lives and reigns forever and, and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for James Anderson on his birthday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <coughs> A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The sanctuary of God in heaven opened, and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen inside it. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman adorned with a sun, standing on the moon, and with the twelve stars on her head for a crown. She was pregnant and in labor, crying aloud in the pangs of childbirth. Then a second sign appeared in the sky a huge red dragon, which had seven heads and ten horns, and each of the seven heads crowned with a coronet. Its tail dragged a third of the stars from the sky and dropped them to the earth. And the dragon stopped in front of the woman as she was having the child, so that he could eat it as soon as it was born from its mother. The woman brought a male child into the world, the son who was to rule all the nations with an iron scepter, and the child was taken straight up to God and to his throne, while the woman escaped into the desert, where God had made a place of safety ready. Then I heard a voice from the shout from heaven, victory and power and empire forever have been won by our God, and all authority for his Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say the psalm together. On, On your, your right stands, stands the queen in gold. The, the daughters, daughters of, of kings are among the loved ones. ones. On your, your right stands the queen in gold of Upper. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. words. Forget your own people and your father's house. house. So will stands the queen in government of gold. So will the king desire beauty. He is your Lord, pay homage to him. 
They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. On your right stands the queen in garment of gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way, the resurrection of the dead has come through one man. Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ. Put all of them in their proper order. Christ is the first fruits, and then after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority, and power. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death, for everything is to be put under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Mary has been taken up into heaven. All the powers of angels are rejoicing. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zachariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, of all women you are the most blessed and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit exalts in God my Savior because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down the princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Today the church recalls Mary's greatness in faith. The solemnity of the Assumption is an invitation to praise God for the special privilege which he gave Mary. Why is Mary glorified by the Assumption into heaven? It is because she lived with exemplary fidelity and treasured in the depths of her heart God's words to his people the promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. She made these the content of her prayer. In the Magnificat, God's word becomes Mary's word, the light of her path, making her open to receiving the word of God made flesh in her womb. Mary awaiting the birth of her son Jesus is the holy ark. She is God's visit that brings joy. Zechariah, in his song of praise, will say, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Zechariah's house had experienced God's visit with the birth of John the Baptist, 
but now above all with the presence of Mary who bears the Son of God in her womb. What does Mary's assumption do for us? In the assumption we see that there is space for mankind. God himself is the mansion which, with many rooms of which Jesus speaks in John 14, 2. And Mary, uniting herself to God, does not enter an unknown galaxy. She has not gone away on sabbatical leave that would last centuries. United to God, Mary participates in God's presence, which is so close to each one of us. And so she remains close to us and does not distance herself from us. She has a heart that is great. She can hear us and help us. In every person's heart, there is space for God. This presence of God in us is realized in faith. In faith, we open the gates of our being so that God may enter into us, so that God's power can give light to the path of our being. This light can dispel the shadows and problems of this world and make our lives rich and great. Today we join Mary in her happiness. We look forward to the day when we too can share it with her. We ask her to remember us as we continue our journey on earth and to intercede for us with her son so that like her we may remain faithful to our call as faithful disciples. May we know God's will for us at all times, and like Mary say, our unconditional yes to what he wants for us. In the meantime, as we continue to live in the dark days of war in Ukraine, climate change, ecological disasters in Hawaii, famine, global pandemic, we need to be empowered and consoled to survive in our world. More than ever, we should turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, whose assumption into heaven has enabled her to be powerfully present to all of us. Let's stand for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray for our Holy Father, the Pope, and for the whole church, bishops, priests, and people, that it may be kept safe amidst the dangers of our time. Lord, hear us. We pray for the people of the world. May Mary protect all with her prayers, and may God grant them peace and justice. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those who suffer and those who care for them. As Mary knew the agony of her son's suffering when she stood at the foot of the cross, may God bless all those who suffer with the reassurance that he will deliver them from all evil. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have died. May they follow Mary and all the saints into the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear us. 
Let us join our prayers with the prayers of Our Lady as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us now pray for a moment in silence. Almighty and eternal God, may we have the same faith as Mary, who trusted perfectly in your word, that you may hear our prayers and answer them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts make our may our hearts aflame with the fire of love constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and the image of your church is coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thine spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to request to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And Eucharistic minister, please, to help with the distribution of communion. I need a Eucharistic minister. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that it is enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
give communion to Carol and uh, Naomi, and they will give it to their children. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.